So I'm Ben Navarro, I'm the Public Works Director for the City of Coolidge. We're on 19th and Coolidge Avenue. This is um, Heartland Ranch. Um, and we're standing in front of this very large retention pond uh, here in Coolidge for the majority of our stormwater actually runs off the streets and fills this retention pond. Anybody in Coolidge knows that uh, we gather quite a lot of water here. Overall, no, the rainwater is not an issue in Coolidge. Um, we do have a couple of hot spots to where um, we have a, a little minor flooding, but all in all, Coolidge has very good drainage, and so um, we don't have a lot of flooding, houses, things of that nature. Um, we have, have it set up so that these developments, when they come in, any businesses and like that, they retain their, their stormwater, their rainwater onto their properties, and so it doesn't go out and get out of hand. As a public works director, it's more of a nuisance for us because we're concerned about our, our roads, our infrastructure, and we want to get the water off the road, off our in infrastructure as fast as possible. Um, just as a citizen and, and somebody knows that, you know, Arizona's been in a drought, uh, the more rain we get, the better. We've had a good year this year to where we've seen water levels rise. Uh, I was at a, a seminar and they said that Coolidge Dam is up to almost 50%, which it hasn't been that in, in a long time. So, the more rain that we can get, the better it off it is for the environment. For like I say, for a public works point of view, um, the more, the faster we can get it off our streets and off our infrastructure, the better off we are. So we're standing in front of one of our major collectors, and so it actually um, collects on Coolidge Avenue and it runs to the west, and it comes into this retention pond here at Heartland Ranch, and it will actually fill up. We've We've had some good rain events and everything, and we've never come close to reaching capacity in this, this large retention pond. A lot of it, if we can get it to soak back into the ground, it helps recharge our water table. There's lots of other routes. Um, the majority of the water actually, and it comes from way back at uh, from the mountains, everything runs kind of northwest past um, CAC and everything. It dumps into the McClellan, McClellan Wash, and that's our main collector. And uh, everything just kind of, the natural flow of the ground runs that way. It wanders, but that is the natural flow of uh, water in this area. It is important. Um, everybody talks about how can you build more houses if there's a drought and the water shortage. And, uh, you know, it's pretty common knowledge. You have to have an assured water supply. And um, this is a farming community, always has been. Keeping the water here, keeping the water table up, I mean, People are going to need water and they're going to need it for a long time. Uh, Coolidge is growing. I mean, it's becoming uh, quite an industry with Procter & Gamble coming in. We have Nicola here. There's lots of businesses, lots of residences that are still coming. Um, Coolidge is growing when other people aren't. So any water that we can retain here and we can keep here, it keeps us that much stronger, that much longer. We've partnered with Arizona Water Company and uh, it's just really watch your water use. You know, you're brushing your teeth, turn the water off. Anything you can do to conserve water, I mean, they make a lot of appliances. Now, anything uh, that you can do, it, it really does help. So if you're, if you're watering your plants, make sure it's on a timer, put in a drip system. I mean, if you can use rainwater that runs off your houses and, and you know, water your plants with that, uh, think ahead. You have a little advanced knowledge of what you're going to do when, when you actually gather this stuff, but just be aware of your water usage and that's a lot of it that goes a long way.